You think you aren't getting ahead in the world? You think you aren't going to make it? Well, I want to tell you something, my friend. It's probably because you aren't willing to compare yourself and to compare your performance with that of others. Competition is the name of the game. It's been the name of the game since Adam and Eve and that snake. It's been the name of the game right down through the times of the kings and queens. It's been the name of the game ever since our forefathers founded this country on the basic principles we all know and love. Watch one of those baseball players on a major league team. Watch one of those football players taking a run around right end. Watch one of those captains of industry struggling to get to the top. He compares his performance with the next guy and he'll walk all over that guy if he has to to get right up there to the top because the only way you have a view of the world that is worth it is from the top of the hill. Where I was a simple tailor in the daytime and I just sat and sewed and stitched you see and I got arthritis in my hands but I could still sew a little bit and my attitude was going down 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 until I got a moonlighting job you see and it changed everything I became you see I became the barker outside a topless joint in the north beach of San Francisco and all of my juices began to flow again and all of my energies began to increase and my sewing and tailoring increased now I can put out two suits when I could only put out one before and I get down to my shop at night and I bark I bark I bark moonlight 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 it is the only way the only way only way Mind your own business. How many times as a child did you hear those words? Mind your own business. And how many times did you think it was just an empty phrase? Well, I want you to know that it was not an empty phrase. Remember what Ralph Waldo Emerson said. Each of us has his own road to plow. And remember what they said in the army. Never volunteer for anything. Stay in your own backyard. Mr. R.J. of Lansing says, Last February, I was faced with a difficult problem. My next door neighbor's house was being robbed. I wondered what I should do, but then my mother's voice seemed to speak to me from back in my childhood. She said, mind your own business. So I didn't do anything, and you know that was the best thing I ever did or didn't do? Besides, the insurance took care of everything anyhow, and my neighbor and I are still good friends. Remember, what Mr. R.J. says is true. Mind your own business. This is a commercial announcement. Listen, Listen to this, to this word. word. Cooperation. Sounds, Sounds good. like a good word, doesn't it? Don't you believe it. When Great. someone asks what you to cooperate, really what's saying? the real message? Are they saying, let's work you together work for and we'll do something good and, and both about feel good about individuality? it? Or are they saying, wouldn't you like hey, how about you, you do my work for me? Operator? Huh? Think about it. Smooth operator when you're asked to cooperate, a if you're really being asked the to do somebody else's really work for them, operator, that's not a very good position to be in. And that even if you anything. do feel good about so when cooperating, you to cooperate, who wants just to think feel just good? Don't you want you something want extra in life? You want a hook. The sense of being uh, who of you are and where so you are. do it on your own and don't leave the cooperation cooperate. for the losers. Operate. And you will be a winner. How much overtime did you log last month? Not much? Well, just stop and think a minute. One of America's greatest men, Henry Ford, once said, nobody ever became a success in an eight-hour day. And when your eight hours are up, what do you do? Do you hang it up and head for the exit? But wait, you still have a lot in you, a lot of the real drive and grit that makes America what it is. Don't waste it in idle pastimes. Put in some overtime. Log a few golden extra hours at the old grindstone. Remember, there's no time like overtime. And look at it this way. There's extra pay in overtime. Sometimes time and a half. Sometimes double time. So if you want somebody else to get those dollars, knock off after a measly eight hours. But if you want to do it right, do it with overtime. That's overtime.
Uh, most people talk pretty slowly. They uh, take lots of time, just as I am doing now. But after all, you don't have to talk slowly in order to be understood. In a single day, talking at this rate, instead of the usual plodding pace, you could save yourself enough time to get another hour of sleep, write a poem, paint that wall, or just relax and enjoy yourself. Now, talking fast is easy once you get used to it. A little practice and you'll be going twice as fast as before. Studies in actual laboratory conditions have proven that people can retain information that comes as fast as four times the speed I'm using now. But uh, when you talk slowly, like this, there's uh, too much time being taken. Too much room for erroneous and anxiety-producing interpretation. Yes, this way of talking is part of the past. The future is waiting to hear you talk fast.